Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how you can block any website without any software at all. Now, someone requested this video, so I thought I'd make a quick video showing you how to do it. It's pretty basic, but it's very simple how to do it. First, open up your search and type for Notepad. You need to make sure you run this as administrator. So right click on it and run as administrator or go down to the right and click on run as administrator. Once we've got this open, we can now go to file and then click on open. Once we click on open, another box will pop up here and we need to navigate to the Windows folder. So go to this PC and then we can click on the C drive where our Windows folder will be. So click on C and then go down to Windows. Should be down near the bottom here. Click on Windows here. Once we're inside Windows, we want to go to System 32 here. So click on System 32. Now we need to navigate down to where it says drivers. So let's go to where it says drivers. It should be here somewhere. There it is right there. Click on this one here. Inside this folder, you should see another one called ETC. Click on ETC and it's blank. Go down to the bottom right hand side of your window here and click on all files. You should now see a bunch of files in here. Click on hosts this one here and click open. So let me just uh, widen this window up here so you can see it better. Now this is where we're gonna add in our websites. Inside here, we can add the websites that we want to block. So if we wanna block some websites, this is where we can add them. So local host uh, name resolution is handled with DNS itself. So here you'll see an IP 127.0.0.1 with space local host. So we're going to use that IP, which is the one here. So you can copy and paste this or type it out or whatever floats your boat. So let's go ahead and paste this into here. So we're going to right click and paste. And from here, we can now type in our address. So for instance, www.facebook.com say, or you can put in whatever website you want to block and it will block it right inside the hosts file. So once you've done this, you need to click on the file at the top and save. And that's it. You can now add in as many sites as you want to be blocked on that machine. Now, if, obviously, if you're trying to uh, stop people from gaining access to certain websites, there's many other ways of going about doing this. This is probably one of the easiest ways if you're not tech savvy. So all you need to do here is just block it just like so. Now, the only problem with this is if you're running a system as administrator, that means that person can access this and change it back. But I'll show you a way where you can block access to this area after a word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. Now, if you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, check out the links in the video description and uh, head over to CD Key Sales and create yourself an account. Once you've uh, clicked on the Buy Now button, add my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and you will get a 30% discount on all your purchases. Once you've done that, submit your order via PayPal and then go to the activation center and activate your version of Windows. So to quickly refresh your memory, we're gonna do one more here and I'll show you how to lock this down to stop people changing it back. So you can see here, we've got Facebook already blocked. Let's go ahead and block, say, YouTube. We're gonna put that same IP address in, 127.0.0.1, and then we're gonna do www.youtube.com and then save this and it will then block that YouTube website and that's how easy it is and you can put all your other sites in here now I know what sites you're probably going to want to block and that's how you can go about doing them and uh, basically when you go up to the top here and they go to search it doesn't matter what browser they're in it will be blocked now there's other ways of going about doing this which I'm not going to cover in this video but if you want to see those sort of videos, then let me know in the comments section below and I'll be happy to make those videos for you. So let's go ahead and talk about how you can block access to this and stop people from changing it. Well, you would need to be running uh, that account as a standard user and not as administrator. Windows by default will give that user account a administrator privileges and that's not what you want. And they can gain access to the C drive and a bunch of other things inside here, which you don't want to do. So you want to run this as a standard user. If you want to change it 
as an administrator here, you can go into Group Policy Editor if you're using Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro and above. Go to User Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, and then go to File Explorer. Inside File Explorer, you can now navigate down to the bottom here, and we're going to be looking for Prevent Access to Drives from My Computer. Double click on this and this will open up another window, enable that feature and then you can restrict what drive it is. So for instance, the C drive only and then apply this. And when they're using their PC, they will not be able to gain access to it. So you'd need to go to here and you can see the operation has been canceled due to restrictions by your administrator. So setting up a standard user account would stop access to this area as well. Uh, and also group policy, you won't be able to get access to those because they're administrative privileges. And if you've got a lot of unsavory sites that you want to block, uh, then that is where you can block them. There's quite a few other ways I would do as well. You can uh, do things by a DNS and you can also do things uh, via other methods and other software as well. If you want to use software, there's plenty of other options available out there. If you want to see more videos on that sort of stuff, then let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to make those videos for you. My name has been Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Got some new designs in my merch store, so check out some of those links in the video description. Have a lovely weekend, and I'll catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.